Okay, what's up? What's up, YouTube? Okay, today we're going to be going over a 2005 2500 HD and just basically showing a video of how it held up over the years since 05, since being bought brand new in 05. So, if you look at it, it's an all stock truck, eight lugs, 2500, three quarter ton truck. It is basically the only thing that's been done to it is basically just front tent you know on the front and also um, just parts that's been replaced over the years you know wearable parts so today I'm gonna give you an in-depth look of the truck and just basically show you what it you know what where the little problems are we're gonna basically just go over the truck really and uh, the next video will be the problematic areas you know stuff that needs to be addressed you know that we ha that haven't hasn't been addressed so here we go Let's see. okay we're gonna go right here i'm gonna start with probably i'm gonna go ahead and start with the outside so we'll basically go to the outside so you see it's a cat eye you know oh five wait oh it's 03 to 06 model year truck. So this is a 05. Um, it's outfitted with the 6 liter Vortec with the 4080 tra uh, transmission. You know, it's not the Duramax. You know, they have another model too. The 8.1 with the uh, Allison transmission behind it, which is like a big block motor. So, okay, here's here we go. Here's the things that have been added, okay? Step bars, those do, did not come from the factory. Those are aftermarket, okay? If you come on around and look, it does have dents and dings and stuff like that. If you look, it has a factory spray and bed liner that needs to be resprayed, but the bed liner has held up pretty good, so. And then we have a little dent up there in the front of the bed as you can see coming on around now if you look that the tires that are on here or they are a size size or two bigger than the regular size because those wheels would look small on here so yeah it, it really helps the truck you know it sits it up a little bit higher you know just trying to keep it practical not a lift kits and all that stuff want to keep the practical you know status of it because you know <laughs> you want to be able to put stuff in and out of the bed now if you come on around and look the tailgate top that's coming up to we will address that in another video um, overall it's a clean truck just you know minor scratches and dents and dings so basically let's just look at the interior the interior is in great shape those are the factory carpets you know look where my foot was just a little bit of dirt but uh we are uh, it's pretty clean nothing busted or torn up the only thing it's probably torn up is center console on the inside and the headliner is trying to come down just a little bit but other than that everything else is holding up, holding up pretty good you know the seats I just got a cover right here on the seat this is the seat is most satin so you know that seat over there is pretty clean headrest pretty clean carpet's pretty clean it's just one little spot there that's all it'll come up real easy with the hot water extractor Cigarette lighter, plug-ins. Um, all right, let's go to the back. Back seats, pretty clean, immaculate. A couple of folders over there. Yeah. Pretty clean. 
uh, the back of the seats aren't stretched out. You know, usually these are stretched all the way out. You know, just all the way out. Because, you know, people may store stuff back there. And, you know, I really think they should have did some kind of wiring through the fabric to keep it to, you know, keep it in shape. You know, and make it a little bit more tougher. But this truck is in great shape. Now, I'm going to go around to the other side. Okay, oh, we got one thing I got to talk about right here. The tail lights are basically, if you have those GM trucks that from 03 to 05 or 06, they tend to, when they sit out in the weather, the cover, it has a plastic cover that sits on top of the tail light. It comes off. So basically you have to you know just you know replace tail lights that's something small that's not you know bad or anything you know it's not terrible coming on around bill heard chevrolet is where the truck was purchased this side is pretty clean there's no dents or dings or anything like that on this side hardly none So yeah, just giving a walk around. Um, door handles are still in good shape. All door handles work. Uh, these are stock mirrors. You can upgrade to the tow mirrors that, you know, from uh, I think Boost Auto Parts. They have have some good mirrors and stuff. So you can upgrade to those. Everything's clean. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the other side. You know, this is where we're gonna get into one one little problem so i'm gonna go ahead and open the front door now what i have to do with the back door over here is because i think the switch it's either i don't think it's a switch it could either be the motor in the door this door doesn't unlock this might be a problem coming i don't know so i'm just basically gonna have to reach in and pop this one myself all right look on the inside pretty good nothing torn off the only thing that might go wrong with these trucks are basically the little reflector right there it might pop off but you can replace those in little or nothing but as you can see on the inside like I said it's clean it's just doing a, a quick vlog you know showing you guys this truck I just wanted to show it because GM trucks are pretty good. Just a dent there. Like I said, that dent to where you like if you force something into the bed and it's not going to fit, don't try and force it because it, that is what will, ha what will happen. Just got a little scratch there, which is typical. I don't, you know, you don't want to gripe and groan about that, you know. But as you see, of course, with the early model GM trucks, the seats fold forward and then down. So there's your see, I have the, the, the hitch right there. That's the box, you know, from inventive hitches. Uh, yeah, and there's your floor jack. Got a floor jack. Well, I mean, the spare tire jacket right you rather but uh yeah here all right i'm gonna do go ahead and lock that back okay go ahead and show you guys up under the hood chips are common because the HD front end 05 to 06 trucks have 
basically a bigger hood on the front so there's more surface that you know that you have for rock chips and stuff to just appear like that so that's a common problem too you know that's nothing major the bow tie is still in good shape but just look, like you can tell where a rock hit right there it basically just you know went through the bow tie so and let up the hood as you can see there is the vortex six liter stock air box nothing we don't have a you know aftermarket air box k and m makes a good aftermarket air box you know but it's better like with this truck being dusty as it is under here probably gonna do an engine bay clean soon and uh you know get it cleaned up really good up under here so that way you know you can keep her looking clean and basically there's the information for the catalyst six liters as you can see right there just basic information the headlights on these trucks eh, they're foggy so either try and get a cleaning kit to clean them or replace them if you have any cracks or anything or if anyone if any one of them is holding water but basically there it is the six liter vortex a lot of these trucks you'll you'll find them in junkyards and they're being pulled apart basically for that motor because the six liters are very popular for LS swaps and you know different things like that but yeah everything stock on the motor you got a little bit that little dirt right there is like where a uh, wasp nest was you know trying to you know build right there or a dirt dauber but other than that everything's pretty good the truck holds up pretty good just a little dirty just all just like I said I just do it need, need a little engine bay cleaning everything's good up under there so basically go ahead and close this now if you look this truck has not been leveled or anything i forgot about, i left that out too it it doesn't have a leveling kit because you know basically i like the design the way this truck is set up is if you put a trail on the back it levels out and i kind of want to keep it that way just you know basically just trying to keep it practical you know but everything's pretty good and this you know the truck doesn't have any rust as you can see from the frame right in there no rust stock shocks you know you got the um the wheel speed sensor right there that's what that wire is right there if you have a bad wheel speed sensor it'll show up on your your cluster as an abs light so yeah like i said no rust just a couple of chips Oh, another thing too, what's common on these trucks is you stay up north or well anywhere, uh, debris can build up in the side flare there, and you know it can, you know, gets caught in there and it can cause rusting if you have you stay up north and you have salt, or it can you know get under there and you know you just have to clear it out, you know, make sure it's cleared out if you, you know, the flares, the flares you can keep them down south, but up north take them off that's my philosophy as you can see everything is pretty good don't have any cab lights this model didn't come with the cab lights replace the windshield too stock mirrors like I said before but uh yeah here we go this is it so the next videos, I'm probably going to start fixing a lot of the stuff that I pointed out in the video. And, uh, yeah, basically, you know, just it's going to be a build, well, build series, but maintaining, you know. So, this is the first video of the channel. It's, you know, just getting started, you know, starting with the phone. Start, you know, start with a low budget. We'll work our way up. 
but uh yeah this is the first video and all right thanks and also guys make sure you subscribe like and comment and just let me know some of the just some of the things you want to see on the channel because we're basically going to be fixing a lot of stuff you know covering mechanical stuff you know different things like that so make sure you subscribe like comment share to a friend tell a friend tell a friend thanks